I'm back. I um, played with a setting, so we'll see how the the video turns out because of it. Um, but anyway, back with this uh, plant again because I'm looking. Does it? <laughs> Didn't that leaf uh, turn out beautiful? I'm just... I mean... You, you, that is not a limp, limpy leaf anymore. It, uh, it really came back strong. If I bend... I guess I can still bend it down here a bit. But... Uh, I, I just, I can't believe how well that leaf came back. I thought at best it would be like this one. That that was the best I'd hoped for. Um, but anyway, not so much the leaves. That that middle one, the uh, the new new one, seems to be doing pretty well. But I've been watching this little nubbin here. Yeah, it looks like something's trying to happen above it. Uh, but yeah, I've been looking at this. There we go. There's some focus. That little nubbin right there. And the last time, it was really hard to look at. It's poked out of there quite a little bit now. There we go. And to me, that is actually looking more and more like a new plant the more I look at it. I, I secretly hoped that that was the case. But I didn't want to put too much into it in fear of being wrong. But it is looking more and more like another plant to me. And I've mentioned before that I've been down this road. That this whole Phalaenopsis is the result of that. But you might remember... That this happened, of course I might not have said it, I'm not real sure. This happened before. Yes, with the, but also with another plant. This will be my third round, basically. Did it once with this plant, once with another plant that is gone now. I got about a 50% success rate kind of in life. It's a little bit sad. But it had two uh, gross. This one had two gross. Well, the, the initial plant had two gross. These two survived. Um, obviously, the, the other one is, is no longer alive. And this is the last of that adventure. But we seem to be starting the adventure over again. Like I said, that one had two. This one had two. Um, this time there's a bunch of them. Uh, most of them kind of stopped at that, that nubby stage. Um... Matter of fact, only these two, this one and the one down below, um, got anywhere past it. And like last time, one, clearly that one that you can see, has shot out ahead. And the one down there, Father, hasn't really done much. This one shot out and got ahead. That's what happened last time, too. This one got ahead of the other one. 
But at that time, I wasn't adding, and I, I just know everybody that hears this for the first time is going to think that that guy's lost his mind. But I wasn't adding marine aquarium salt yet. Not just Epsom salt or aquarium salt. No, marine aquarium salt. It's what you need to grow corals and things. Tiny, tiny amounts. But I do think that ever, ever since this idea got into my head, that when I'm paying attention, I'm seeing amazing results from it. I mean, that leaf was as limp as overdone pasta. With these, this little, it's, it's not even, it's the emergency philanopsis little uh, playlist I put together. That could not support its own weight at all. Now it can. Now it does. That, the, the living part, just is amazing. Okay, new leaves usually are. I'll, I'll give you that. New leaves usually are. But I, I, I do. I think that that is going to be another cakey plantlet. It's looking like one to me. I know it's kind of hard to, even with this little bit of zoom that it seems to have, it seems to be about twice as, well, not twice as big, but it seems bigger in the video than it does in life. Um, kind of weird. So yeah, I'm going to definitely put this into a playlist with the first video. Because I don't think that anyone has shown, I could have, but I wasn't making videos yet, this entire process. I mean, when I first showed that little nub and it was just, I don't know, maybe half that, just starting to come out the side. You really couldn't make a judgment of what it was. Now it's looking like it might be a plant. Leaf. Leaf growth. Coming out the side where it's not supposed to unless it's a cakey. So, I will film this up until we get... Well, let's look at it every now and again up until we get a bloom. And then it'll just be the other plant. Has anybody done that? I, I wouldn't mind seeing a, a playlist of somebody that's done that. I've seen it done up to a point with a uh, avocado seed. But that's another, that's another category. <laughs> that's avocados, not orchids. Fruit, maybe? Yeah. So, we will do this with not an avocado, but a Philanopsis. And I know some people are thinking, oh, yeah, he, he only grows Philanopsis. Well, I do intend to expand, but unlike most YouTube channels that are using traditional plant foods, whatever they may be, uh, none of them are really organic, and I don't know how organic I'm really being now that I've started putting the marine aquarium salt in. But, uh, I like it. It's 
small amount. You, you wouldn't imagine it would do anything. But in my head, it's making for good growth. Now, the, the rotting bark wasn't helping. But like I say, when things are going right... When things are going right, it just does amazing things. The plants look amazing. So I'm going to continue with it. Because I get leaves that I can't imagine how they could be better. I, I, I can't imagine them being better. I've got periods of roots where the roots are just amazingly beautiful if you can say that about a root um yeah then this is some roots that are pretty gorgeous that one's got a crack going across it but those are some good looking roots not the best they're about half size but their color is good I wish you could see them in person because the phone's not really giving true color. Well, that's pretty close. I gotta admit, that's pretty close. It's just doing amazingly well. Along with the other plants. Um, what is that called? I cannot think of what it's called. Um, the bamboo, looking amazing. That newest project really isn't old enough to have done much. Uh, but there's some lucky bamboo. Here's another one of them, like, I don't know, Buddha belly uh, palm or something. I, I don't know. I did not think of what that is right now. But we will see what that little thing does. Like I say, if it's a plant, we'll record it up till it blooms. And then when it blooms, we'll call it a mature plant. And to jump ahead, have We'll jump ahead to when it's a plant. It's got its own roots. It's blooming. I'm never really going to take it off. I'm not going to separate it. Because it seems to me that eventually they separate themselves. I don't recall breaking the other plants away from this one. I just untangled the roots. When it when it died, I just kind of untangled the dead roots from the live ones. Nothing really broke apart. They were just kind of tangled in with each other. I don't recall cutting anything to separate the plants. I just untangled the dead roots out of the live ones and I had a dead plant in one hand and a live plant in the other. So I don't see a need to separate. They, they seem to at some point just do that naturally. Now well, we shall see. It looks like I'm having a second chance or a, a second chance to have two of these and a third bite at the apple, so to speak. Sounds like a great playlist to me. Unless it turns... I, I cannot see how that would turn into a root. 
I don't see it turning into a spike. But if it turns into a spike, then I guess we'll film the flowers. But I don't think we're going to see flowers out of this growth for quite some time. And with that, I will let you go and talk to you next time. This, well, yeah. Th this is going to find its way into a playlist. Um, I think I'll just name the playlist Possible... I don't know what I'm going to name it, but it, there's only two. There's the recovery of this plant, and then there's going to be this playlist. Possible cakey? I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, the, the, I think it's the other playlist is Phalaenopsis 911 or something like that. Emergency Phalaenopsis. This one will be something about this little nubbin. I don't know what I'm going to call it. So, for real this time, talk to you next time.